Okay, so uh, for my spreadsheet, uh, for Taj Mahal, I pretty much kept it uh, pretty much the same throughout the year uh, at 1730. So I dropped it 20 cents um, to drive up the demand and I was able to get a pretty good profit out of that. Um, and same thing goes with the production. I just kind of kept it kept it uh, pretty consistent throughout the year, except for kind of later towards the year where I went up uh, to 4,000, but still nothing uh, crazy. <clears throat> with Alley Cat, um, so right at the beginning, I went to $15 and then slowly rose it uh, about a dollar um, to eventually get to $17, right in the high, the, the peaks of where the demand is super high. Um, so I have a change of price at about $1.50 uh, at its peak. Um, and then production, just like last time, I put a lot in the beginning so we can keep up with that demand. Um, and I didn't really drop it until uh, like later in the year, uh, about September or October. Um, and then same thing with the price too. I dropped it once when September hits when nobody really wants Alicat anymore. I dropped it to 1550 um, and then just kept it through the rest of the year. <clears throat> with Edgar Ale, um, same thing. Starting at the beginning of the year for the first four months, um, I put it at 14 bucks um, to kind of drive up that demand because that's when everybody wants it is in the winter time. Um, and then the summertime, I also rose the price just to try to get keep keep it consistent. Um, try to get some kind of profit out of it. Um, and then once in the winter time started again, I dropped it down fourteen dollars, um, changed the price about fifty cents, and um, was able to get some more demand for that. Um, and then I got an EBT of two eighteen three thirty two. Very nice. Okay. Here is my spreadsheet. And we're starting with Taj Mahal. I also lowered my price 20 cents. And the, I also lowered the production. And with this, we had quite a bit of sales and um, um, yes, it was good price point just with the EBT and how it all worked out. And um, going down to Alley Cat, the original price was fifteen fifty, which I raised it quite a bit from March to August during the summer, which is such a high demand for it. So people were still purchasing it. Um, and with that dollar fifty extra, it did um, add up quite a bit with the EBT since people were um, buying so much of it. But I had so much inventory during like November, December, so I had the production order super low and started with it super high in the beginning of the year. But Edgar Al, I kind of messed around with it as the price was originally $14.50. Um, I ranked it between um, like a $0.05 cent to $0.30 cent difference just to have that extra, um, extra money coming in, which also was good, but I managed to make it a bit more also in the summer where people wanted more of that product as well, but I ended in an EBT of 216384. Nice. Uh, I did something uh, fairly similar to the other two, but just a little different. I uh, went a little more aggressive on the discounts to Taj Mahal at the beginning of the year, um, allowing me to uh, drop the production a little bit uh, for higher alley cap production as we needed the inventory to keep up with demand. I also uh, kept alley cats price high for a little longer, though uh, not quite as high, uh, which seems to elicit a slightly higher profit. Again, sort of trailing off towards the end of the year, 
shown again with the uh, slight price discount to keep demand a little higher. As far as Edgar goes, the uh, price kind of uh, fluctuating to uh, sort of hammer out any lost sales to really keep that uh, EBT up, ending with a final EBT of uh, 227 to 85. Perfect. Thank you, Jonah. And with that, we as a team discussed how we will probably be using Jonah's spreadsheet as he had a good EBT and we just thought that that would be best solution um, as the simulation is coming up and we will use that as a guideline to know what to do during that time. All right, and then um, we'll keep the, since we're all pretty familiar with our jobs that we've had throughout the, the last spread area uh, simulations, I think we'll just keep it the same. I'll take over the work center queue. Um, Jonah, you'll do the production and then Josie um, inventory. And then you can also do the price management, which is you know just adjusting for the prices. Um, we'll also have Jonah's spreadsheet on hand so we can look at and reference what uh, price we need to change for that month. Uh, and as far as initial uh, orders go, just high alley cat orders for the first couple sets as per usual. Just uh, you know, prepare for the high demand. Sweet. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thank that you. Good.